Alex Leatherwood was one of the best offensive linemen in the entire country and certainly is one of the top picks coming out of this year's class. The 6'6", 315-pounder, one with strength, one with power. That's where he was at his best. He's light on the speed and can get wide against the best edge rushers in college football. Even though he's athletic, one thing that he did struggle with was his balance when opposing defensive ends got a little creative with their spin moves. He's going to have to get that worked out at the next level, but let's be real. We're talking about comparing ice cream flavors. It doesn't matter whether you like mint chocolate chip or cookies and cream, they're all good. And Alex Leatherwood is one of the best in the country. If I were to compare him to an NFL player, it would be Russell Okung. He's got the same kind of skills as the star offensive lineman. Trayvon Merrick, safety from TCU. The thing that I love about Trayvon, he's the ultimate football player. The reason why I say that, before he cracked the starting lineup in the secondary, he was a terror on special teams. And then when he jumped into the lineup, the impact was immediately felt. I mean, he had four interceptions in 2019. He had two in 2020. He combined for 20 PBUs in those two years. Very, very versatile player, good ball skills. He loves football. The concerns that I have with Trayvon, Sometimes he's a bit too aggressive when it comes to tackling and when it comes to being encouraged. Sometimes he can run himself out of the play and run support because he's too aggressive. And sometimes in the passing game, when it comes to covering pass catchers, he's too aggressive. He's trying to always make a play and sometimes that can put him in a bad position. The ultimate NFL comp for Trayvon Morig is Grant Delpit. Malcolm Coons got just one Division I offer coming out of high school, and he made the most of it. In his last 17 games at Buffalo, he logged 13 sacks and 17 and a half tackles for loss, and he did it facing his fair share of double teams. He was a regular disruptive presence in the offensive backfield thanks to his quick first step and good hand usage, but he also went stretches without affecting the game, which is reflected in his draft stop. And while Coots isn't particularly twitchy, at least by NFL edge rushing standards, he has a nonstop motor that consistently puts him in position to make plays. It helps explain why he's always around the ball and such a good tackler in space. In the NFL, he'll need to get stronger and prove he can play on special teams, something he wasn't asked to do a lot of in college. Coots is an intriguing prospect who flashed some serious pass rush ability, but needs to show more consistency at the next level. Tyler Gillespie flew under the radar in college football because, let's be honest, Missouri didn't really give a lot of people reasons to pay attention. But don't get me wrong, that's not Gillespie's fault. The large frame safety was a big part of that defense, especially in the running game. He has a nose for the football and an innate ability to diagnose plays and quickly accelerate to the football. He does struggle in coverage when left alone in the defensive backfield. He lacks the top end speed. That's okay though. That's something that he can get to and the coaches can work with him at the NFL level. If he does become that all around safety, he could become another Ricardo Allen. Man, Nate Hobbs looks like an NFL cornerback. And we saw glimpses of that ability throughout his career. The consistency has been the key missing component, but there are flashes. He only played in five games in 2020, but managed just three interceptions and 35 career games for the Illini, and that sticks out. That's not necessarily a red flag, but it does get your attention. But when you flip on the tape, you see a physical corner who is always around the ball. He can play outside, in the slot, zone or man, and show the type of physicality NFL teams love to see in their defensive backs. Not only is he contesting catches, he's fighting through blocks in the run game, and he's making open field tackles that can keep 10-yard gains from turning into 50-yard touchdowns. Hobbs isn't going to get four or five interceptions this season, but he is the guy on the back end who does a lot of little things, the dirty work that helps win football games. As it stands, he's a developmental player with a ton of upside who will likely begin his NFL journey on special teams. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.